This is a Scion organizer, 512k flash data pack PCB, and when I make these, because it's well, I'm making quite a few of them, but it's also quite a complicated footprint. I think it'd be almost impossible to hand solder the uh, the pins that are facing each other here on the flash chips. I actually um, soldered them in a reflow oven and uh, use this to put the uh, solder paste on. This is a stencil. This is one uh, I got from my PCB manufacturer and it's made out of stainless steel and it was quite expensive. And uh, that's what I used to spread the solder paste on, so that's all fairly standard. Now, this being quite expensive and it being very useful putting uh, solder paste on and then using the reflow oven for even one-off prototypes. I thought I'd have a go at making stencils myself. And this is what I chose to have a go with. It's mylar sheet. Uh, it's 0.15 millimeters thick. And these are fairly small A5 sheets. And you can see here, you can see that I've actually got a stencil there of the Scion Recreation mainboard. And you can see here, I've actually got the display connector. And these are, I think they're 0.5mm pitch um, pads. And it's actually, I've managed to cut those holes. Now the thing I've done this on is a vinyl cutter. I've actually got uh, what is a, a commercial vinyl cutter. I didn't get a Cricut or or any of those sort of consumer ones because A, they were more expensive and the uh, vinyl cutter I've got is actually larger and it's, it's, it's bigger and more solidly built as well. I can also attach to it with uh, just HPGL. I'll send an HPGL file to it. I've got a workflow which takes me from KiCad paste layers to uh, SVG then I convert that using in Inkscape uh, I use GURB V to convert the Gerber paste layer to SVG and then I use Inkscape to convert the SVG to HPGL which I then send using a tool that I wrote which is in one of my repositories on GitHub and that then sends the HPGL file to the plotter and it cuts this out and it's, it's pretty good, I mean it's not perfect the uh, alignment of some of these shapes isn't quite right, but it doesn't really matter with solder paste because the thing it's going to melt anyway. So the surface tension pulls the components into position. And for single prototypes, I can always tidy them up. If I was making lots, I'd probably get a stainless steel stencil made because it's a bit more hard wearing and more accurate. But for one offs and just a few, this I think is fine. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I do. Uh, I have had um, solder put onto a PCB, and uh, it seems fine. So I'm going to have a go and uh, try reflowing it. it. Took me a few attempts to get it right. These are the mylar sheets. I mean, you can see there that failed to cut completely, and that's down to the pressure of the knife. The vinyl cutter uses a drag knife, and it's a CNC machine that drags a knife around basically, and the knife can swivel. And uh, if you don't get the the pressure right, you either don't cut through at all, or you cut through too far, or you only cut some of them through. So here you can see that some of the holes are still blocked, and um, the pressure wasn't high enough. But the final one that I managed here, where I worked out what the pressure was for my vinyl cutter and this mylar sheet, seems seems pretty good. So I'm going to try that and uh, start soldering using these stencils and see how I get on. Obviously, as i got the stainless steel one, I probably won't do it on the flash packs. That would be a bit silly, but um, I'm going to have a go and um, make up a board. You can do double-sided. You, you do one side, the front, and then you do the back, and you solder uh, in the reflow oven just one side, then the other. So, Whereas the stainless steel's got both front and back on the same stencil. The Mylar I've done one per sheet, which doesn't really make much difference. Um, one advantage of the Mylar sheet over the stainless steel is you can see through it, and it's a lot easier to align 
Let's get the PCB for that. It's a lot easier to align the components because you can see the board through the stencil and uh, line it up with the stainless steel you have a little bit, bit of a battle really to try and find out where the pads are lined up because you can't see through you just see them flashing past through the holes and then you just have to line it up or make a jig which is what I've done so I'm going to try that and we'll see how we get on so I've just applied paste using that stencil and it's looking pretty good. You can see there that, I mean that's easily good enough for a prototype. So I'm going to stick some components on there and solder that up, see how well it actually solders. But uh, that to me looks as good as the stainless steel stencil that I use for the flashback. <laughs> Thank you.